Hey guys, RMP Connect back. Um, doing another video here, uh, kind of on the same idea as my last one I just posted. Uh, this one is on one screen showing the memory usage of the same games. Uh, I'm going to be doing Battlefield 3, Metro, and Crisis 2. Um, now, this is going to be showing um, the memory usage on everything is maxed out in the AA and stuff. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is the more AA that you have, the more memory usage you're going to use. So, for instance, on the three screens on all the games, I had the AA completely maxed out, uh, which was using that much memory. Obviously, if you lower the, um, the anti-aliasing, you will lower the memory usage, so the game would run, obviously, a little bit smoother. But that was the whole point of getting the 3 gig 580s, was to be able to turn on the anti-aliasing across three screens and enjoy the game in all its glory. So, okay, so this is Battlefield 3. I'm pretty much at the exact same spot as I was on the other video. Now, if you see here, we'll zoom in, um, the cards are stock, okay, and memory usage is almost 1300. So, what that means is if you have a 580 with 1.5 gigs of RAM, you'll be in the safe zone because they have 1.5 gigs. I'm only using about 1300. Um, every also the uh, it seems like the more the more memory you have on a card the more memory you end up using in the game so for instance I'm using 12, 1288 megs of RAM right now uh, power GPU when he had his 1.5 gig 580s he was using less RAM than I am so I, I'm not sure why it does that but it's just it's the more RAM you have in your card the more RAM you're going to use in the game but anyway, so <clears throat> as you can see, I'm getting actually really good frame rates right now. Uh, the settings are completely maxed out. I'll show that real quick. So the memory, so the memory usage is, um, you know, kind of in the green for using a 580. If you're using a 570, yeah, the game's still going to run perfectly smooth and it's going to run really nice. But it's just showing that the memory usage is up there. So let me show you the settings real quick, just to show you that it is maxed out. Going to options, video. All right. <clears throat> so we'll see here. 1920 by 1080. The field of view is at 90. And then all the graphic settings: ultra, ultra, four times AA, blah blah, you know, and so on and so forth. So that's everything completely maxed out on Battlefield 3. So next, I will be doing the same thing. I'll be putting on the Metro benchmark. Um, just as I did on the last video, showing the memory usage of that game and on Crisis 2. Okay, so now let's have a look at the Metro 2033 benchmark. Um, as you can see here, DirectX 11, 1920 by 1080. Quality is very high, four times MSAA, which is equivalent to eight times AA on in Metroland. Uh, texture filtering is on 16. Advanced physics is on. Depth of field and tessellation is on. So let's uh, go ahead and start this. Okay, so now the benchmark is running and the memory is going to start, you know, the memory will uh, load in and it's going to start going up and up and up as the, as the benchmark goes in. So we'll let the benchmark run for a few minutes and let it build up its uh, max memory usage. <clears throat> which actually it might be already there alright so let's uh, go in so now the uh, cards stock and the memory usage you can see this is on a single monitor is at 1340 1341 so this is uh, so again you're going to be safe with a 1.5 gig uh, 580. Using a 570, they only got you know 1.2. The game's still gonna run really smooth, but you know as you can see here, I'm using 1300. So, um, and the FPS is uh, is pretty decent too. The uh, if you check out Power GPU's videos, um, we're very close. Like 580s and 570s are very very close in performance. Um, 10, 
15 20, you know percent you know difference it's it's not it's not much at all it's uh it's actually really good uh they also have the 2.5 gig 580s for those of you that would like the extra VRAM for running three screens, which would be ideal, um, probably best bang for the buck is getting, you know, a couple of 570s with the 2.5 gigs, and you'll be all set for, uh, you know, running three monitors and putting up the AA and doing all sorts of things like that. So, all right. So there is Metro 2033. Next will be Crisis 2. All right, guys, and the last one is Crisis 2. This one, out of all the games, uses the most of your hardware. Um, whether it's you have 570s, your CPU, it doesn't matter. This game uses a lot. Uh, you can see here the memory usage on a single monitor is 1800. Okay, that's that's a lot of VRAM to use on a, using a single monitor, 1920 by 1080. So, you know, it, it's a uh, the game is intense, it uses, and it's probably one of the best looking games, still. Uh, Battlefield 3 is a very nice looking game too. Um, I, you know, equally, I think they're probably both the same graphic wise, you know, they're really, really both nice looking. Uh, this one just uses more more of your hardware, it uses, pushes your hardware more. So, alright, well I think that's it. Um, this one Crisis 2 definitely by far uses the most VRAM out of all three games, whether it's on three screens, one screen, ten screens, I'm sure it's going to use the most. So, um, I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, I was looking at some of the comments of my last video, and people were asking about, oh, you know, the 6990, you know, how much memory usage does that use? Well, you can't really tell because MSI Afterburner doesn't show you the memory usage for, a for AMD cards. It's only NVIDIA cards that you can view the memory usage. Unless there's another program that I don't know about, but this is what I use, this is what I know. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, and then also, you know, comparing the 6990 and comparing a 590, um, the 590s are just underclocked 580s. It's, it's not true two 580s and like someone posted in the comment if you want to see uh, true two 580s in a single card you, you want to look at more of the Asus Mars uh, that'll give you a better um, better idea so um, trying to think anything else no I guess that's about it um, alright well if you guys have any other videos that you want to see requests games anything along those lines uh, hardware um, oh I may I may make another video of the finalized product of the of what my computer is because I don't know what happened. I added music to the end of it and it complete apparently it locked out the United States from viewing it. I don't know. It's YouTube's stupidity. I don't know. So I don't know. We'll we'll see. All right, guys. See you later.